finish the event. Take a listen. We, we, we have full confidence that we can go on. We're getting resumes from all over. We're getting offers from all over. People are jumping in to help us. We've made a ton of friends in this thing since we've been in. A lot of talented people right now are reaching out to us, and we're in, right in the process right now of forming a team that we know can still lead us to victory. So we have full confidence in our ability to keep going. But the timing of that, them walking away from you right now. The, time, the timing doesn't matter. It's not, it's not the timing. It's how you react, and we are ready to react. And we're doing it right now. Lieutenant we're getting Governor it done. Robinson, you've talked about the, the reporting being salacious lies, not true. Have you taken steps then to prove we, it's not you? We absolutely are. We absolutely are. We're, we're, we have, we're in talks right now, everything up to legal counsel to take CNN to task for what they have done to us. We are, we are going after them. Okay, we are going to go after them for what they've done. But we have five weeks left in this race, folks, and make no mistake about it. We are not going to let CNN throw us off of our mission. Our mission is to win this race. And quite frankly, I am dismayed about the fact, as I said before, think about how many people out there right now, right in the place where we are right now, who are hooked on fentanyl, who are hooked on, uh, on opioids, and how many will die tonight because of it. Think about what's going on on our border. Think about what's going on on the yes. world stage. Yes. And this is what you this is what you uh, choose to focus on. You've got these news cameras, news reporters, pens, pencils, your microphones. This is what you're focused on. You're not focused on the things that we talked about standing up there about our economy. You're not focused on those things. I am. I'm going to remain focused on those things. And you better you better understand. I am coming after full CNN full throttle. But we have got to put the people first. And in order to put the people first, in order to put the people first, we've got to concentrate on this campaign. And that is exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. Thank you. No, no more questions. No more questions. Hold on just a second. No more questions because you're from Greensboro. And in Greensboro now, Robinson I... may be talking about the fact that we're focusing on that. But I can tell you there are plenty of Republicans in North Carolina who are as well concerned about what the K-File investigation as well as a significant staff departure means potentially for down ballot Republican candidates here in North Carolina, Jim. And look at the top of the ticket. Former President Donald Trump was in North Carolina. He was in Wilmington on Saturday. He did not invite Lieutenant Governor Robinson to appear with him on stage. Robinson had a small public event at a speedway instead in a different part of the state. Didn't even mention Robinson by name at that. And this is someone who we at one point called Martin Luther King Jr. on steroids. This is a person who had a speaking position at the RNC earlier this summer. And so while he is trying to focus on the campaign, I will tell you that other Republicans here in the state of North Carolina are very concerned about that investigation as well as the campaign shakeup. Yeah, I mean, Diane, I mean, did uh, Mark Robinson explain why these staffers are leaving if the if the report from this network is not true? Uh, no, uh, they said that they have stepped away on their own accord. They wish them well. Uh, and the staffers themselves just saying this was something that happened on their own volition. So uh, they have not gone into the specific details, but the timing, of course, uh, coming just days after that K-File investigation was published. Yeah.